Hello everyone and welcome back to the playthrough of Hellblade Senua's uh, Sacrifice. Uh, so we did the last play for, um, session if you saw it. Unfortunately I streamed it and I wanted my good headphones on but I forgot about the fact that the Xbox wouldn't actually be picking up my voice because uh, even though this has a mic it doesn't work for the Xbox controller. So apologies for that. So instead of streaming it this time I'm using the DVR function in the Xbox and recording separately like I would do um, if I was on my normal Xbox instead of Xbox One X or on my Nintendo Switch. So yeah let's carry on where we left off from uh, and see how far we get in this playthrough. But I've absolutely loved what I've played so far um, so hopefully it continues up as it is really. Starting to cloud over again. Ymir was a frost giant, a being of darkness, and all his sons and grandsons were dark after him. Of his daughters and granddaughters, some were monstrous, but others fair. But there was another who came from the ice, Buri. In shape, he was like a man big and powerful. His son, Bor, took a fair giant to be his wife, and they had three sons. Odin was the eldest, and the Northmen hold him to be the foremost of the gods, the Old Father. So I do like that this game has given you some uh, history on Norse mythology. And not relying purely on Senua's plot. Well, I mean, it is her plot, but it's just given that extra bit of uh, context, I guess. hides the path to Valraven. Don't trust your eyes. Find another way to see the truth. Just close our eyes again and pretend what we saw was never really there. But the snow's starting to fall. If anyone never could close her eyes, however hard she tried, begged. Here they 
down. I don't not see this hole. Is it not there before? Well, there's something looking at me then. Maybe it's just... Uh, no, there is. There's eyes on it. If you 
hear the song about Raman. Follow it, and it will lead you to him. But be aware of his illusions. You can't always trust your eyes. Focus. Focus. So this is very cool. This part. Following the voice. through it a bit. Yes, it's opened it up. She can get up now. She can get up now. What's happening? She can get up. Oh, right, okay. How can she get up? It must be magic. Dark magic. A trick. Raven. Tricking her. Raven. How can she get up? Bait. It's him. Dark magic draws her closer. Alright, there you go.
Do you know what it's like to leave everything behind? Your home? Loved ones? To head deep into the wilds? Perhaps never to return? Senua does. Because when darkness speaks, it changes everything. Turning home into a foreign land and loved ones into strangers. Exile makes sense when you realize that you were never really home in the first place. Good idea. Not good? So I've got to go to the right by the sounds of it.
The ravens. The ravens. They've gone. The have gone. No. Half of them have gone. They've gone. Some are still there. But where? Some are still there. Oh, ravens. that did it fix that broken bit yeah I think it has oh, how do you get in there though Ah, I know. Go back through it. Go in there and open the door from the inside. No such thing as victory when it comes to the darkness. It's like it doesn't want to kill her. Yet. Or nor at her. Biding its time. Only when she is at her weakest will it strike to kill. Will she find Dillian before her time comes? Right, I think we leave that there because I need to shoot off unfortunately. Um, still really enjoying it. I'm glad that while it's similar still in some ways to the other path before this, um, it still very much feels its own sort of puzzles. Um, so I was worried that all the puzzles were going to be the same but that doesn't seem to be the case. Just similarly based on each other. Um, so yeah, I'm very happy with that. Anyway, thanks for watching and I will see you with another video real soon. Bye bye.